What's up everyone, my name is Henry Ingersoll and this is What's Inside My Baseball Bag. In this video, I'll be going through my main baseball bag. It has all the equipment most players will have, bats, helmets, gloves, etc. And yeah, it'll be fun. All my catcher's gear and other equipment will be in my next video, where I'll be going through this giant bag. So be on the lookout for that video a little bit later. But for now, let's get into this video. It's too dark for sunglasses. All right, first up is my helmet. There's nothing really special about it. Everyone on my team was given these, just like standard Easton helmet. I put a jaw guard on it. I think it looks pretty cool, but yeah, nothing really special. It works well. I don't know if I've been hit in the head wearing this, but I think it would protect me. At least I hope so. Next is my batting glove. I use the Bruce Bolt Navy batting glove. These are really nice. I've been using Bruce Bolt for a few years now, and I really like them. They're pretty durable. I have, I've had two pairs. These are really nice batting gloves. I have gotten like a few like little minor rips here and there, like this, like my fingers ripping a little bit, but that doesn't matter. You, you grip the bat the same way. These are really durable. You feel like barely any sting with these. They're really nice. I just have the short cuff gloves. I don't know, they're faster to put on. They're pretty nice. The only thing about these though, is that if you don't take like really good care of them and you just kind of leave them out they will get like crispy and hard pretty easily so yeah after you wear them for a few minutes the crispiness should go away but yeah overall these are really nice batting gloves probably the best in the game i recommend these they're really good all right next uh my evo shield elbow guard i don't know it's just like a normal evo shield elbow guard we formed it to my elbow There we go. It looks like this. It's not super big, so it's nice and small. Pretty easy to put on when you're not wearing a sweatshirt. It saves me a couple times. All right, so that's my helmet, gloves, and Evo shield. Let's move on to the nice fielding gloves. All right, first up, I have my first baseman's glove. I keep it in a Buck Athletics glove sleeve thing. I don't know, it's really nice. I don't know, it has this ball in it. Keeps the pocket existing, I guess. This is a fairly new first baseman's glove. Just, yeah. My other first baseman's glove got lost, so I had to get a new one. But it's nice. It's pretty broken in. It came pretty broken in too. But yeah, it's hard to hide. 12 and a half inches. Uh, yeah. I got it from Dick's, I think. And yeah, it served me well. The pocket is really big and really deep. It's, it's a nice glove. I recommend it. So I keep it in the Buck Athletics glove sleeve, like I said. This is a good glove sleeve. I got that at Dick's too. So yeah. All right. This glove is pretty old. My dad used it in softball for many years. Then he used it in baseball when he switched back to baseball. And then I've had it for a few years. So it's been through a lot, but it's holding up really well. The leather is pretty thin. So if you play catch with it after a while, like everything will start to sting. But yeah, it's Rawlings gold glove and it's 12 inches. So yeah, it's a really good glove. It's holding up really well, especially for how long it's been used. Yeah, this will be retiring soon, but it's held up. Now this is that glove's replacement. I keep it in a just Rawlings normal glove sleeve. It has a string that's like caught on it. Okay. I keep in this like Rawlings glove sleeve thing. It's pretty good. I have a couple of these. I, this is what I keep it in. All right, this is a custom 44 glove. It's navy and gray, my school's colors. So that's pretty cool. I put this on it just cause it kind of looks like baseball laces. It's 12 inches, signature series from 44. This is like barely broken in. I've had it for over a year. So I've done like nothing to break it in. Um, I don't know. I can't really say much about this cause I've barely used it, but yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. If you want a custom glove, you can go to 44. They're good, they should sponsor me. So yeah, that's it for like the main pocket of my bag. So I guess let's move on to that. All right, my main bat, the Axe, that's the Axe handle. I really like it. Um, it's the Axe Avenge Pro, the hybrid. How big is it? It is 32 inches. So yeah, it's really good. I remember when I first got this, like I was hitting really well. Like I went from hitting like all right, then I got this bat and I started hitting really well. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I put the, what is this called? It's like Volt Grips. I don't know. It's like a different kind of grip that I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's held up pretty well. Um, it is starting to peel in some places, 
but that's okay. It's, it is really grippy. It pairs well with my Bruce Bolt gloves. Pretty nice. It's a nice bat. All right, I'll show you my wood bat. Uh, this is my wood bat. I got it a while ago, just for wood tournaments. I don't really use it any other time, but yeah. It's bamboo, I think. It's 32 inches also. Um, it says Pinnacle Sports on it. Yeah, DB4. Pretty nice bat. I have just, I think this is lizard skin. Yeah, it's the lizard skin's bat grip. Like this, like, standard normal bat grip. I don't know. It's held up pretty well. It's bamboo, so it's not gonna break easily. I don't know, it's pretty nice. I like it. Like I said, I don't use it a ton, but when I do use it, it holds up. Yeah. Here's my Oakley's case. There's nothing in it right now. Here, I'll put my sunglasses in it. But yeah, I use Oakley sunglasses. I think they look cool. They're nice. They feel good. Yeah, that's all you can ask for. All right, now for my shoes. All right, my turf shoes I was given to by my team last year. They're navy and white. It's like normal New Balance turf shoes. I know, a lot of people have these, but that's because they're good. Uh, this part, I don't know what it's called, but it's starting to peel, kind of picking up the bottom of the shoe with it. But that's my only complaint, if you can call that a complaint. It's just, it's happening. We glued it one time, and this is the second time it started to peel, but oh well. Yeah, I have those. These are really good shoes. If just need turf shoes, then these are good ones. All right, now for my metal spikes. Yeah, these are also navy and white. Um, I got this for my team last year also. And yeah, they are good shoes. I don't know, we didn't play on very many dirt fields, so I haven't used them a ton, but they're cleats, they do cleat things. And yeah, give you good traction in dirt and grass and also dirt, I don't know. These are pretty good shoes, comfortable. The only bad thing about these shoes that I've had happen is the thingy at the bottom of the shoe, I don't know what's called, this thing, but yeah, that was, they kind of like rolled up and folded inside the shoe. So when I put my foot in it, I'd be like standing on a ball. I don't know, it wasn't very comfortable, but like I played through it, it was fine. All right, my final shoe. It's one of my Christmas presents. Okay, it's my molded cleats. They look exactly the same as my metal spike, except for one's metal and one's molded. But yeah, they, I have these just cause turf shoes, even on turf, don't give you the greatest traction and so having molded will still be better than that so i just have these for turf when i'm not using my turf shoes so yeah these are pretty good i haven't worn them i don't even know if i put them on ever but i got them for christmas which is like a week ago i haven't done any really any baseball stuff since then so yeah but i think they're just the same as my metal spikes i don't know they're pretty good they look cool yeah the very last thing in the video is the bag the thing that holds all of this stuff. I got this one, this specifically for Christmas, but I had like the exact same model before. It's the Boomba Super Pack, I believe it's called. And yeah, they're big, nice. It holds all my stuff, which I have a lot more stuff than most people will have, but yeah, it holds it all. Not a ton of extra room, but I don't need extra room because it just needs to fit what I have. But yeah, it's a nice, big thing, lots of pockets. You can hold four bats as bought for your cleats. You can embroider this if you want. It's pretty cool. I haven't done that on any of my bags. I might this year, we'll see. I think these are supposed to be water bottle holders, but they're like way too small to hold any of mine. But yeah, it's a good bag, nice and big. Has these things hang on the fence. But yeah, it's a good bag. Holds everything really nicely. I don't know, if you're looking for just a good, really big bag, then the Boomba Super Pack, you can get it. It's a good bag. All right, I think that's it for this video. If you're interested in my other equipment, like my catcher's gear, stay tuned. I'll be showing you this big old boy and everything that's inside. I don't know, this is a lot of good stuff. If you're looking for like top quality catcher's gear, you're gonna wanna watch my next video because I have like top quality stuff. I don't know, yeah. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, hopefully. See you in my second ever video. Goodbye! There's an airplane flying. I don't know how well you can hear it. Probably, probably really loud.
All right.